All right, so we're back here. Um, at this point, uh, Tim has had a chance to go out and drive the car, uh, test the brakes, uh, go through all of his spare parts. Uh, we've had a, a long discussion, and uh, so now I'm just gonna close out with a couple uh, questions for Tim and uh, see what he thinks of his car. So, all right, Tim, I've got you in the, uh, in the torture chair here in front of your uh, 1930 Model A Ford Buick Straight 8. What are we gonna call it? What? Franken truck. Franken truck. There we go. I like that. All right. I was thinking about Ivy. But. Ivy? Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. because of the color, that works really well. Buford. Buford? Buford. Buick and Ford? No. Oh, well, wait, <laughs> wait a second now. Buford. Buford happens to be my favorite sheriff in the whole world. So. Buford deep busser. There you go. Um, so overall, um, you came to me probably almost two years ago, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it, it's it's been a it's been a fairly involved build. Um, you came to me almost two years ago, and uh, I, I tried my damnedest to talk you out of uh, building. You know, starting with with the the pieces, but Nothing. yeah, but but you were fairly invested in the motor, right? Yep. The yep. the the motor. We so our job was to create a car around the engine that you had yep. been working on for a couple years. So at this point, uh, you've had a chance to take a long look at it. You've looked at the lines, the fenders, the sloping grill, the headlights, the bug eyes, the interior, uh, the interior trim pieces, uh, the way the seats function, the gauges, the sitting position. Uh, what's your overall uh, opinion of the vehicle? And please be completely as honest as you will. Well, I wanted it blue, but you just made it. <laughs> No, okay, uh, let's at least stick with partially oh, the it's, truth. It's yeah. Just the actual real facts. <laughs> yeah, the real, yeah. Uh, no, I love it. Actually, I really do. It turned out actually better in some respects as far as the way it stands and stuff than I, than I thought it would. You know. Yeah, we, we had to bring it up. We, yep. we, we lifted it about uh, two and a half inches, two, two and a half inches in the front. It's now sitting fairly level. Overall, you like the posture of yes, the vehicle? I do. It's exactly perfect, not too tall, not too short. Okay. It's an angle one way or the other. All right. You know. And the colors. The, the, colors, the colors, that was a tough decision, yeah, wasn't it? it was. We talked about that a lot. Yeah. And, and so, you know, we had discussed metallics and solids and single colors and, yep. and, and multiple colors. And in the end, of course, we decided on this very sort of deep. Um, the green is not really British racing green, but I, I call it a... Yeah, a, a cheated British racing green, and then of course we went with more of a, uh, I don't know what I would call that, a really light hunter in the center. Um, it's, but it, it almost. John Deere green? Um, uh, it's close, it's a little, you I know, would. New John Deere green and old John Deere green are two different colors. Oh, I didn't realize that, oh, okay. So, so the colors, so, so the basic thing that I look for when we finish a vehicle is, is the overall effect of the vehicle, the wheels, the tires, the posture, the, the track width, the, mm. the lines, does it come together and do what you wanted it to do? Because if it does, it's a success, and if it doesn't, it didn't quite hit the mark. No, it's perfect. I mean, not perfect, nothing's perfect. Well, well. One, one guy, but other than one guy, I agree. Okay, and that one guy ate you. Yeah, oh, that, that, that <laughs> he died a couple thousand years ago, okay? Uh, no. No, it's just exactly pretty much what I wanted. All right, very good. So uh, now it goes to North Dakota, and they asked me a really important question. Does it have antifreeze in it good to 30 below zero? Exactly. We don't we're have, driving at home, you know. We, we don't have 30 below zero in Norfolk, Virginia, so that's a really good question. We're going to have to do an actual um, analysis of the antifreeze and make sure that it is ready to go down to 30 below because that's that's like a fall temperature in North Dakota, right? Yeah, it's just, yeah. So. It's, it's shirt sleeve weather. Yeah, there you go. So when do you guys get back to work? Because right now it's your winter and you guys are, really, you can't do a lot of farming right now. Oh, April, April, May. So you have another three months mm -hmm. to, what oh, do you do? Oh, we got a haul green and stuff like that. Okay, so you still have work to do. It's just not, you're not plowing any ground for the next 90 days. I don't think you can plow six feet. <laughs> All right. Well, folks, that closes us out for uh, Tim and oh, his. Oh, by the way, ladies, I am single. <laughs> he is. Hey, if you gotta, you know. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> so this is Tim. Um, he's single, and, and uh, I don't know, my, my wife, uh, I don't know, ask me next week. I might be single next week because uh, she's pretty upset at me a few days ago. <laughs> All right, so um, that closes us out for uh, Tim and his uh, 1930 Model A pickup. Uh, stay tuned, and we will bring you another car here in about another week. We'll talk to you soon.